Hello everyone, in today's video you will learn a good opening for the white pieces that I recommend knowing for everyone who is under 2000 rating online. It's called the Kola system, specifically the Zuckertort variation. We start with the move d4, our opponents will respond d5, and after knight f3 and knight f6, this is probably the most flexible for black, we're going to be playing the move e3. Now our setup is going to consist of the moves bishop d3, fingering the dark bishop, usually knight d2 castles, and likely we're not going to involve c2 to c4 early on. Now I recommend not going for the main setup if they at this moment are going to develop the bishop that is the light square, for example, to f5 or g4. If they do that, we're going to change our opening and say they go bishop f5. I always recommend hitting meter with c4. At your level, it is very good try to play queen to b3 sooner than later and try to take advantage of the weakened pawn on b7. A lot of the times this provokes some weaknesses at your level, like someone could play b6, when the light squares are going to remain vulnerable on the queen side with the absent of the light square bishop. For example, let's say they play e6 to develop the dark bishop and finish with castling, and here we could go queen to b3. So black has a couple of options, for example, b6 is one of them, and positionally, I think after knight c3, white has very easy game. We could try knight h4, winning the bishop pair or simple development with short castles, maybe even long castles in some cases, and white has a little bit of an advantage due to the weakened structure, specifically the light squares on the queen side, and a little bit more space due to the two pawns fighting for space rather than black's one. If they at this moment played something like queen c8, we can comfortably continue with the same knight c3 and natural development. As we go back, bishop f5 is not the only move. They could also go, for instance, bishop g4. Then it's very similar. We just hit with c4, attacking d5. For example, e6, queen to b3. And we have very similar positions with only difference that this time they could take on f3 as an intermezzo move. Well, we're going to counter them with intermezzo as well. We're trapping the rook over there, so they have to develop the knight. And now we're a pawn up in this position. I believe white has good chances to play for a win from here as we definitely have an advantage. Now, the main line is if they play e6, and I believe that is going to be most popular. We're trying to get our setup. We usually start with bishop d3, but to be honest, move orders don't matter as much. Just keep remembering the setup. c5 is probably most ambitious and most popular. It hits the center. Over here, we play b3, even though we're not scared of c4 specifically, but we're going to fianchetto the dark square bishop, and I think this is a simpler move order to remember. So, knight to c6. At this moment, we play bishop b2. And it's very important to remember how to react against this funny move knight to b4, which hits the bishop. So at this moment, if they do attack our bishop, white usually needs to keep the bishop by going back to e2. And here white's plan is to kick away the knight with a3, and then take on c5, and then play b4 and even c4. So for instance, how does it look? Let's say black develops a piece. For example, bishop e7, we take take. Now play a3, the knight is being kicked away, now b4, and that is a very typical reaction. Later, you could even play c4, white is going to have amazing dark square bishop over here, very natural development, and white is usually between slightly and much better in these positions. As we go back, black doesn't have to go knight b4, they could also play bishop d6. We simply castle, and the lines are very similar if they're going to be going for knight b4 over here. So for example, knight b4, we take on c5 and hit the bishop. This doesn't lead to good things for him. And at this moment, if they just simply take on c5, we do a similar strategy where we retreat with the bishop, play a3, b4, c4. c4 can be included immediately or later, and white has a good game. So Usually we're only going to play a3 to prevent knight b4 when they're going to be playing b6 as they're at that moment going to be ready to take back with a b pawn on c5 in case it gets taken. And our idea a3 b4 no longer is going to be hitting that bishop. You see that over here we always have b4 to hit the bishop. So for instance castles castles knight bd2 and whenever they play b6 at this moment we'll play a3. And one of the typical plans in the Kola system is similar to the plan in the London system, where we play knight to e5, for instance, rook c8, f4, and from here we're trying to build up a kingside attack. 
Sometimes we could take on c5 in order to open up the dark square bishop, knight g4 to remove the guard, rooks are lifted, and queen is coming into the attack as well. I think this is a very easy system to learn. Definitely we are not aiming for objective advantage with any kind of system. If you want to have an objective advantage, play e4 or play the queen's gambit. But in practice, I think that you will have very good results and very positive score as well as lots of time on your clock as moves are simple to make. If you enjoyed the video, consider hiring me as your personal online chess coach. I thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.